This is another camp. Uh, it's called uh, Atma Camp here in Syria. And having visited uh, many families here, um, you can see the conditions they are living in. This is probably one of the largest camps. And I think there are about 11,000 people, internally displaced Syrians, who are uh, on this camp. And you can see the conditions they are uh, living in. And myself, just to show you, I've got one, two, three, four. It is about, right now, sun's coming out, but earlier on this morning, I can say it was probably about two or three degrees. That's early morning. And during the night, it probably drops down to zero degrees as well. And you can see the, the condition. Surface condition. And uh, the people who are walking in this mud and uh, this is the, the situation no electricity no heating facilities very limited clean water and it's been raining for the last couple of days and uh, the surface is all very muddy and you can see some of the children in slippers and it is very cold these are internally displaced people who are living in these conditions in these camps and to be honest this should not be happening in our world these are people who are caught in the middle of conflict this conflict has resulted in thousands and thousands of people who are internally uh, displaced either inside Syria or uh, out in the neighboring countries like Lebanon, Jordan and Turkey. People here urgently need your help and I would encourage and request every person out there to please dig deep and donate whatever you can to Syrian crisis because these people urgently need your support. Thank you.